daybreak, a remarkable recovery for a horse born kind of unable to walk. This is actually another Purdue story. Yeah. The horse uh, is from Bloomington, but the uh, care was given uh, for the first three months of his life at Purdue. Emily Kinzer has the story. Uh, the veterinary uh, school and hospital at Purdue, legendary, of course, just another success story out of that. Yes, absolutely, Josie. The, uh, the mama horse was brought to Purdue as a precautionary to have her baby. Little Jet was born without any problems, but they quickly learned he was having trouble standing and walking. So that's why he ended up spending his first three months of life at Purdue. Jet's uh, hind limbs were malformed because he had what's called a flexual limb deformity. Now what this means is that it basically caused him to walk on the backs of his hind legs instead of standing up right on his hooves. If this carried on long term, it wouldn't have been good for little Jet. There are two special bones on the back and if they constantly hit the ground, that causes trauma and it can actually cause fracturing of those bones as well. The doctors at Purdue fitted him with special shoes called heel extensions that were used to prop him up and help straighten the ligaments in his legs. Over the last few months, Jet has been getting stronger and walking better. Now he is back at home. He's been back at home for a few weeks and still making progress there. So really exciting for uh, the family for sure. That's the horse part of the story. There's sort of a human element that you'll tell us a little bit later on the Yes, there's a lot more to this story than what I'm able to tell you this hour, but next hour, um, Little Jet is actually honoring a little girl um, from that family, so I'll tell you all about that next hour. Okay, thanks so much, Emily. It is a 535.